So the, the same technology that, that you guys have adopted over the years and gotten um, leaner and more productive can be used by smaller and smaller design houses today to be competitive with you. So, so as more design houses kind of flourish, how do you, how do you keep the ankle biters at bay? Well, essentially, Pacific Design Engineer is an integrated shop. So we have the ability to take an idea that some, from somebody and move right from the idea right through to the final product. Um, so the, the integration comes in that we've got both electronics capability in-house, and within the electronics world, we're talking you know, wireless development, battery management, uh, the standard analog and digital design, FPGA development, microprocessor development, firmware. That's another area where you know, firmware development is dramatically changed. Like if years ago, we, we had one guy or half of a guy doing firmware development. Today, I've got three. So again, the, the power of the micro is, is changing the hardware, right? The, the, the flavor of, of, of technology is moving from hardware-based to being you know, a little bit of hardware, the whole lot of firmware, a whole lot of smarts you know, running it. So um, being an integrated house, I have the ability to take on a whole project and so an inventor comes in with an idea on the back of a napkin or a business card, I can work with him to you know, do it all. So if he just went to a, an industrial designer who would you know, do his form fit and function form, is like the, the style of it, fine, they do a great job. But then he has to take that to a mechanical designer. And the mechanical designer then says, okay, well, I'll do the mechanics of the enclosure or the, or the rack or the, the, the box effectively, but then you gotta go to an electronics guy. Well, that's a step-by-step -step sequential approach and it takes longer and there's all kinds of, of uh, interfaces that really should be happening. And so that sequential approach leads to mistakes and leads to a longer introduction to the marketplace. If you take a, a holistic approach, you can do it all at the same time. So you can't do the electronics independent of the mechanics. So just you know, the mechanic guy's going, where, where's the mounting holes? How are the connectors? Where's the GUI? How do I interface the world? The counter guy is going to ask the electronics guys, well, how big is the batteries? You know, where, where are the, the, the ports? Where's the power coming in? So all this kind of stuff, if, you've, if you're using everybody sequentially and differently, it takes longer. Being integrated, it all happens all at the same time. I put a design team together on a project, and I've got mechanical guys working with my board layout guys, with my electronics guys, my wireless engineers, my uh, you know, antenna designers. They're all working together at the same time. It's pure chaos. But chaos <laughs> leads to faster introduction, right? Right. One of the caveats of, uh, or one of the, the, the statements of somebody smarter in product design than I am said that th the basis of good design is you have to fail often and fail right. quickly to get to the final consensus. Because that's essentially what design is, is a consensus. You never get what you start with. You always have to try and do better, but there's always compromises and consensus along the way. So by failing quickly, you get to the final solution much quicker. And having everybody on the table all at the same time, all with the same information, just makes it happen faster. So that's kind of how we keep some of the smaller guys away. Um, another thing is we've been in business, since I said, in 1988. We've seen all kinds of markets from you know, high volume consumer products to no volume industrial products. And because we're not just a designer of, of phones or toothbrushes or toilet seats or pogo sticks or batteries. We've done them all, but that we we do a lot of other stuff too. We have the ability to, to look at a problem and sometimes say, well, wait a minute, we did that for this customer a few years ago, and yeah, he was a commercial customer and you're an industrial one, but so what? It's the same kind of problem, we can solve that. Um, so there's a lot of synergy going on between different uh, market sectors and the problems that can sometimes come to bear on your particular problem. Oh. What?